because the Queensland government has been rocked by a scathing report into integrity issues by Professor Peter Coldrake, who warns the government has systemic issues with public sector bullying and making politicised decisions. Professor Coldrake's wide-ranging probe has revealed there is a culture too tolerant of bullying, dominated by short-term political thinking and a loss of capacity in the public service accelerated by an over-reliance on external contractors and consultants. The tone in an organisation is always significantly set at the top. Well, Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk eventually had to front the media, but not immediately, as she had to conveniently timed dental surgery, which rendered her unavailable. And when she finally did appear on Thursday, her appearance was lacklustre, to say the least. Instead of acknowledging her shortcomings and how bad the findings were, the Premier got defensive and suggested the findings didn't even trouble her. Um, because they elected me as the Premier of this state and I won't be lectured to by the opposition. This is the same opposition that embedded Crosby Texter in Tim Nichols' office when he was Treasurer for a period of six months to sell off the assets. But a report like this has to trouble you, given this is happening. I embrace it. It doesn't trouble me. It, I embrace it. I ask for this. Any leader of a state should be worried about the report's findings. And I find her attempt to spin the report as just a, a health check absolutely reprehensible. And I think by watching that press conference, you get an idea of what Cole Drake was suggesting. This is a government which is incapable of taking criticism or tough questions from the media without lashing out. Can you imagine working in the public sector for these people and trying to flag an issue with a clearly politicised approach? The Courier-Mail editor, Chris Jones, wrote a brilliant editorial summarising the issue and the problems with the Premier's press conference. He wrote, Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk's weakness as a leader was on full show this morning, when she both refused to take any personal responsibility for integrity issues confirmed by this week's landmark review or apologised to those public servants bullied and belittled by ministerial staff. We understand the political strategy of trying to paint herself as a solution rather than the problem, but any real leader watching the Premier's press conference would have been squirming. Such was the lack of self-awareness on show. Well, that's right. A real leader takes responsibility when the culture of their operation is tainted. And for the Premier to resort to media spin in a situation like this should concern every Queenslander. And Daisy, I'm keen to, to hear your thoughts on this. Obviously, the report aside, uh, very complex, a lot of allegations about bullying, um, uh, the ministerial staff not listening to the uh, advice of the public servants. We know that that does tend to happen, particularly when a, a government is in power for so long. But what do you make of the way that Anastasia Palaszczuk handled the criticism and attempted to, to sell it as if she was a solution going to reform essentially her own government? Well, that doesn't surprise me at all, the way she handled it. That, that, that's sort of what she does. She's never been able to take any kind of criticism. She's never been particularly humble. And this is why COVID was such a golden age for her, because she was able to sell herself as, like, the grand saviour of Queensland, state mummy, keeping everyone safe. So now what she's done here is try to do the state mummy thing again, but it's state mummy, oh, taking care of everything, and, oh, I'm going to make the government all, all lovely and non-corrupt, et cetera, et cetera. Like, this is what she does and it was interesting watching her get agitated because uh, again she she's never been quite good at, at keeping her cool when reporters ask questions that are even vaguely challenging I mean if we remember last year there was the whole bit when she went on about how the government wanted to give Queenslanders COVID for Christmas and she was called on it by a reporter who said aren't you being political there and she went off her brain and eventually her media team had to say we gotta go and, and off they went so honestly she gets two steps into an argument or, or a push from a reporter, she completely falls to pieces. Her weakness was on full display and I'm looking forward to the next state election. <laughs> Me too. Sophie, final last words? 
Well, Jack, when the uh, politicians turn on the media, it never ends well. And we've seen this happen numerous times with Anastasia Palaszczuk. She gets very hot under the collar. She gets irritated with the questions and then she almost attacks, in some cases has, really gone for the journalists, told them at press conferences they've been rude and so forth. So I think it's good the media keep the pressure on these premiers. Uh, Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk got re-elected, but she's got a tough few years ahead because the media spotlight is on her. There's been a lot of bad press coming out of Queensland with what's been going on under her watch, Jack. We'll have to see what happens. Sophie Ellsworth, Daisy Cousins, thank you both so much for joining me.